in this video I'm going to unbox and set up the Kodak EasyShare D830 which is a digital frame. So here it is, Kodak EasyShare D830 digital frame. So I haven't opened it yet, so got Kodak on the top some writing on the sides on the bottom the back we got some information it can hold 4000 images which is pretty good actually so it's got 512 megabytes of storage inside which doesn't sound like a lot but it can hold 4000 pictures which is more than enough so this is 8 inch as you can see on the bottom it says 8 inch we'll go ahead and cut it open this little tape on the side and we can go ahead and get inside this box alright so I've managed to open it let's go ahead and pull it out got a few papers here seems to be warranty got some advertisement 12 pound to spend at Kodak website and then we got the instruction manual a very big instruction manual actually but I'm not too sure if we'll need that so first we're introduced to the actual screen go ahead and put that to one side Um, we've got this triangle thing. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the stand for the back. We've got a plug. This is like a travel plug so you can get different adapters for it. So here we've got the EU adapter. But I'm not going to need that one. I'm going to need this UK one here. Alright, so I just went to go pack everything up and we're back so let's open this stuff up so just grab your cable and slot in the plug which suits your country uh, bear with me for one second I'm going to slot it in Okay, so I'm going to put it to one side now and let's go straight into this. Let me open up this screen here. Okay, so here it is. Uh, let me try and... I'm going to have to unclip this frame somehow. Um, it's actually quite fiddly to unclip. But I've done it. Okay, so here it is. It looks pretty small, but it's actually 8 inch. You can peel off that sticker at the bottom, but I'm going to keep it. So we've got three buttons on the top. We've got the on and off button, obviously. we got the slideshow button. We've got some pictures in squares everywhere. We've got the clock button. And we've got a picture with the calendar. Obviously I'm going to show this in the video coming up soon. In this video coming up soon. Let's go ahead and put the stand on. So it's it's got a bit of weight to it. But it's, it's not too much. Let me go ahead and try and clip this on. Uh, so you can put it on those different sizes there, whichever size you best prefer. Okay, so I've put it on the third one from the top. So I'm going to actually go ahead and grab the cables and plug it in soon. So 
So let me go ahead and grab the cables and I'm going to go plug it in soon. So as you can see it goes to the bottom. So we'll be right back. Alright so I've plugged it in on the bottom. And go ahead and hold the on button for like two seconds. And all these lights turn up on the side. Those are touch buttons. Okay, let's go and set it up. Uh, we're going to go and select English. So the speed is it's reasonable. It's not very fast, I have to admit. But it is reasonable. Um, we've got some setups here. Gonna go ahead and just press OK. We'll set it up next time. So this is it. Got a few pictures, pre-installed pictures of the digital frame showing up. Obviously, you can show your own pictures by putting in an SD card, a USB. Um, the specifications specifications will be down below in the description, and I'll also mention the different types of card that this thing can take. So there's an example, so that's the clock with a picture of course and the picture changes, that's the calendar with the picture You've got various modes, this is a slideshow, so full picture of a slideshow So yeah, this is pretty much it, it's really nice quality screen actually and the viewing angles are actually reasonably good So the resolution is like 480p but it certainly doesn't look like a 480p It looks like a real photo frame and the thickness isn't actually too big either so for the price of this it's like 20 pound so I'd give it like an overall score of 9 out of 10